what does perfect even mean? Is there even such a thing? Ooh, ooh. Can we switch up all the rules? And imagine a utopia. What's up, curl friends and fellow product junkies? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. It's Elena and I'm here with another curly combo today. I'm hoping that today's curly combo will be fit for a queen because today is my birthday and I really want this wash and go to turn out well. So let's see how this wash and go turns out. But first, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Elena and I do natural hair product reviews. I'm also learning to care better for my high porosity color treated natural hair in the process. And I've also started a garden in my backyard back in the spring and I'm sharing my gardening adventures with you all. So if you're interested in any of that kind of content, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I'm sure you'll enjoy it over here. All right, let's get started with this video. Let's see what this is gonna do. All right, you guys, so as you saw from the title, this should be a wash and go fit for a queen. <laughs> But um, anyway, we're using the Nefertiti Secret today, the Aloe and Moringa Natural Growth Curl Definer, okay? I've only used this brand one other time before, and I used it for a twist out, but never got to use it for a wash and go. So I want to try it today since it's queen day, <laughs> and the Nefertiti was queen, so... I figured this would go hand in hand, you know? But I've already applied the all-in-one leave-in treatment. This is kind of like a continuation of my wash day, y'all. I washed my hair yesterday, I actually recolored yesterday into the treatment. And it wound up being too late in the evening for me to finish recording. So <laughs> I just went in and applied some of the leave-in, put this cap on, and went to bed. So we're gonna go ahead and finish up the wash and go now. I'll sit under the dryer and all that good stuff. Still doing my same routine, it's just kind of a day later. So, let's take this cap off. Okay. My hair is still damp, but I'm going to have to wet it just a little bit more because we're doing a wash and go. But I wanted to make sure that I had some kind of like nutrients in my hair, you know, like I didn't just want to go to sleep with naked hair. Didn't want my hair to like tangle up or anything like that or just dry out crazy. So, I, I did go in and put the leave in and this kind of tangled up on me. Okay, I'm gonna have to get a comb or something over there. But yeah, so let me get this untangled. Let me add some water and I will be right back. All right, y'all, so I'm all sectioned off. I don't know what happened there. My hair got a little tangled. I guess I was really, really tired last night when I put those two twists in and I just like, I don't know, but the ends got tangled up. Anyway, I got them out, got the tangles out, and now we're ready to work with my hair. So, yeah, so I'm gonna apply a little bit more leave-in because, you know, like I said, I just applied that little bit of leave-in just to kind of get me through the night so our hair wouldn't dry out. So, I'll go ahead and use this. Now, let me show y'all this leave-in. It's a spray leave-in. Y'all know how I feel about spray leave-ins, but this leave-in is a really good leave-in. Let me show y'all how it sprays out. You see how you can see the product on the hand? Okay. This leave-in gives you a very, very nice coating, whether you spray it directly on your hair or spray it in your hands. This is one of those sprays that, leave-in sprays that coats the hair, and I love it. And it smells so good, y'all. It, it smells like it's for a queen. <laughs> um, it has this like orangey uh, fragrance to it. Oh gosh, it smells so good. Let me see if it, can, if it tells me the notes. It doesn't tell me any of the notes, but it has moringa oil in it. And um, let me see if there's any like orange anything there. Cause I'm definitely getting like an orangey smell. There's sage, there's rosemary, there's nettle, there's horsetail, there's aloe vera, hydrolyzed keratin, moringa oil. Maybe it's the moringa oil that I'm smelling. It smells so, so good, y'all. So, so good. It smells like tropical. 
beautiful it just smells so so good okay so i think i'm just gonna leave just a little bit more i'm gonna make sure my hair is thoroughly coated with the leave in before we go in with the, the gel Now my hair is just a little bit, um, stiff. not going to say stiff, like I have a strengthening feeling going on because of the treatment that I did after my hair color. Y'all know normally I would go in with like my Joyco color, uh, my K-Pack, Joyco K-Pack and maybe some oil. I didn't do that this time. I used a different product and obviously it was a protein product. Um, but yeah, it's got my hair feeling strengthened right now. Not as moisturized as I would like it to feel. But that's okay. This is putting a little bit of the moisture back in. I definitely needed that treatment though because my hair was like starting to shed. But I also needed to uh, refresh my color. So there's that. All right, I'm going to keep putting the leave-in on the sections. Y'all know how I like to do these days. Put the leave-in first. And then apply the gel. So that's what I'm going to do real quick to this section here. This is the protein that's doing this. That's the strengthened feeling. Normally I can just kind of glide my hands through, my fingers through, but I'm getting a little bit of resistance, just a little. So my next wash day, I'm definitely gonna be doing a moisture blast. Yep. Those are the curls. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the gel. And the packaging on these products is just so pretty, y'all. So, so pretty. Look at the gold with the blue. It's like that turquoise Egyptian blue. So, so pretty. So pretty. And this is a natural growth curl definer. And it says that it defines and restores curl patterns. Excellent for all hair types. Apply to clean and detangled hair to define curls, section hair, and apply to wet hair from roots to ends. To stimulate new hair growth, apply to your scalp and massage. Style is desired, making sure to spread evenly with fingers for twists, coils, or scrunches. Allow to air dry or use a diffuser for thicker hair. For dry or thicker hair, use all in one leave in treatment before applying. I know I use a leave in anyway, so, but yeah. So let me just show y'all the ingredients real quick. Pause the screen if you need to. Let's see. Okay. Now let me show y'all what it looks like and let y'all know what it smells like. All right. So this is what we're looking like. It's a clear, jiggly gel. Let me show y'all. The consistency is thick, y'all. It's thick. Okay. Thick. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna take about that much. Oh, I didn't section that section, but we'll get to it. That much. And it smells, it smells so good. It smells just like the leave-in. Everything smells the same, y'all. It smells so good. All right, so this is a thick kind of gel, curl definer. Um, see how it goes on the hair while it's wet. It's just, it's just going on. No complaints, no resistance or anything. I don't feel anything crazy going on here. This 
stuff is definitely thick. I feel like it'll give me a really good hold with how thick this stuff is. Like it really coats the strands. And I feel like it's like an, kind of like a nourishing type of thing. You know what I mean? Like it's going to go into the strands, um, nourish the hair, and also give it some hold. So that's from the way the gel feels. So we'll see. Well, let's continue. It does not feel heavy, it just feels like my strands are coated. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish my whole head and then I'll be back. They're beautiful. They are beautiful. I feel like this is going to be a good wash and go. <laughs> I really, really do. My hair smells amazing right now, y'all. Amazing. Um, it feels good. It feels like everything is coated. I feel like this is going to dry well and I'm excited I'm excited I'm excited to see how it's gonna dry and how it's gonna feel when it's dry so let's go sit under the dryer and I'll be back when it's all dry of my wash and go it is day two of this wash and go um as y'all know it's my birthday so i'm a queen for this this whole week actually i'm a queen every day and so are you but it's a special day my birthday and so i felt, felt like celebrating and such i bought myself a crown so these are my birthstones it's a ruby ruby um gem so I thought I just thought it was fitting for me. Okay. So <laughs> these are the results of my wash and go, y'all. So th this is just really, really nice. It's so so pretty. It's so full. Um, I have a little bit of frizz, just a little bit of frizz, over here in the front section over here. But um, I don't think I really have anything to stress about. As you can see, my problem area is really defined. My whole head is defined. Let me turn around for you guys and show you. Okay, there's definitely movement. Okay, my crown is not coming off, okay? It's on there secure. I'm just saying. So, but yeah, so my hair, it does feel like I'm gonna need to like do some kind of a moisturizing curl refresher spray or something like that. Um, may possibly tomorrow um, for day three y'all know that's kind of the norm for me by day three I'm you know usually refreshing my curls or something like that so that's not a big deal for me um, 
the moisture level hmm you know I'm kind of I'm kind of thinking that okay so the moisture is is kind of fading for me also but if you remember um, I said I, I said that I had did uh, kind of like a protein treatment prior to using the products and I should have followed up with a moisturizing treatment after that and so I think I'm still feeling the residual effects of that protein in my hair plus this whole line is like a protein line as well like you know there's um, I think there's keratin in this um, yeah hydrolyzed keratin is in this so you know more protein so I really probably should have followed up with a, a moisturizing deep conditioner, um, you know, just prior to applying the styling products. So I think that's what's going on there. But other than that, I really don't have any complaints. These are some beautiful curls. Okay, my hair looks it looks full. It looked full on day one. Day one looks like like today, <laughs> um, but not as big. So you know, if you're looking for something. For day one hair that's gonna you know give you some nice definition a nice curl set like you know you know not, not so much fluffing or anything like that now I the only reason I didn't come back yesterday was because I always show you guys my hair after it's been stretched and so it does look a lot fuller and of course it's stretched now so I feel like it looks better today than it did yesterday but even yesterday I thought it looked great I really thought it looked great so I'll insert a picture of yesterday's hair if you haven't already seen it. I'll insert a picture here so you can, you know, see kind of see the difference. But yeah, I mean, I think this combo, this what is it? The all-in-one leave-in treatment and the natural growth curl definer. I think these are fit for a queen. Okay, so definitely, definitely check these products out. The owner is a very sweet lady, very, very sweet lady. Um, and yeah, I'll, I'll link her Instagram page down below where you can get the products. I don't know too many people that have done um, a Nefertiti secret review. I haven't seen many, but the first time I used the products, I fell in love with them. Like I used them for, I think it was a twist out or something. And I love them then, and I still love them now. I mean, this wash and go is amazing. Like, I am really, really loving it, y'all. I really love it. It's just so, so full. So full. So, yeah, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. Um, yeah, leave me some comments down below about what you think about how this looks in my hair. Have you tried these products, Nefertiti Secret, any of them? Because I have the shampoo and the conditioner and the deep conditioner as well. Um, didn't add that into this review because of course we're trying to do this um, this gel series. So I just kind of wanted to stick to the styler for this um, video, but let me know if you've tried any of her products because I think they're amazing and definitely fit for queens. So, and kings. <laughs> so if you're a king watching this, you can check it out too. So yeah, guys, um, that's pretty much it. That's all I have to share for today. Stay tuned for some more videos coming up. I know this one kind of went out um, a little bit late. I wasn't able to post this on my birthday, but um, thank you for bearing with me. I do appreciate it, y'all. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget, if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I upload a video. And also do me a favor and hit that like button. It really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm and helps other curl friends find me as well. So with all that, thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye!